Hello and welcome to a new Unity FT Designer video tutorial. My name is Jonas and I'm working for Electronic Assemblies Development Team. The today's topic is an overview about macros. First I want to explain some details about macros. Then we want to generate one and connect to a touch button. I also want to show you the command syntax and help functionality. Macros are functional blocks. They can include graphical as well as programmatical comments. Example given, place a formatted text that shows a recalculated analog value. After generating a new project, we see only one screen. That screen is a graphical appearance of a macro consisting of several graphical comments. You don't have to think about that, as you can just drag in the objects. The designer compiles to a macro file automatically. We can add some macro code that is screen related in the object's property editor over here. You can use this area to add some code that initializes the graphical objects, like setting an active button in radio group or set a slider to a specific value. The code is added directly at the end of the screen macro. If we want to write a function that is not directly screen related, we can generate a pure macro. On the project tree, there is a section macro. On the small add button, we can generate a new macro. The simplest way of using macros is calling the macro if you press a button and do something. Therefore, we place a simple rectangular button and connect the macro to the press event. I only want to output the information that the button was pressed. I print ASCII to the terminal window that is enabled by default. Let's test in the simulator. You can see if I press the button, we output the text. Back in the Unity FT Designer, I want to explain the command syntax in more detail. A command always starts with hash sign followed by three ASCII characters. The first letter is the main group, like S for string commands. The command is followed by different parameters and ends with carriage return line feed. The last point in our agenda is the help functionality. You might have seen the autocompleter. It pops up and shows various possibilities to fill in. If you select a comment, a short help text is shown to see the command name. After selecting the comment, you can see in the status line the needed parameters. If you need help for the command, please set the cursor somewhere in the line and press F1. The help file opens and shows the comment. I hope you enjoyed the today's Unity FT Designer tutorial. Maybe you have time and play around a little bit with our other sample projects and enjoy our video tutorials.